the leaking radiator. By the looks of it, it is the original unit. Still got the original crimp connectors. But it has got updated UK Samco Sport coolant hoses. Nice. Let's get this radiator off. Just loosen that Jubilee clip up. And luckily it's already drained because we did the lower hose first. Straight into a bucket. Now we've got to get this crimp connector off. We're just going to use our snips. Nice. See you in a sec. As you can see that's off now. That's the crimp connector. We've got new ones of these, so that's nothing to worry about. Next step, get the fan off, get the shroud off, and then we can lift out the radiator, which is just held on by these two clips. See you in a sec. So we have those bolts removed. Moved. Get this out of here. Now we can deal with the radiator. As you can see, it's been leaking right at the bottom. See you in a sec. Disconnected the temperature sensor there. Let the excess out. We can replace that now. When replacing the radiator, always check the hoses are in the same place. the temperature sensor right there. You've got a bong here so we're gonna to have to take the sensor off and put it here. Otherwise everything looks good. There's a little bit of a tip for you. When replacing the radiator don't take the cardboard off until the last step and when it's actually on the car that will help you stop damaging it. It's all back together. Coolant's been put in. Just time to start her up. We can't find any dripping now, so we can assume that's sorted. But there is a little bit of a gearbox leak, we'll sort that later. And now we turn our attention to the rear where there was making some rubbing and creaking noises. And as you can see, rubber on the arch lip here. It looks like the previous owner didn't cut this back and there's signs of the tyre being rubbed so I guess we can sort this one out as well. Thank you for watching, like subscribe for more of this kind of material, thank you.